How to ride a donkey like A.P. McCoy. No, of course I'm not going to teach you how to ride, how to ride a donkey like A.P. McCoy. I'm not sure I would know where to start. But more on donkeys, and I mean actual donkeys, later on. First, I should introduce myself. Hello, my name is Josh. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Now, I've sent you a free system, and hopefully you like it. It's the first of many freebies I plan to send you in the coming weeks, months and years and every one of them will be designed to make your betting fun and even more profitable. But having sent you this system I thought it only best to say hello properly so you know more about me and to explain how horse racing has changed my life. Now I know that sounds dramatic but horse racing is a hobby, a passion of mine like no other. Once you've been sucked in, it takes over, and quite frankly, I don't know what I would do with my time if I wasn't into racing. Shortly, I will tell you my story, how I went from knowing nothing about racing, to losing a substantial sum of money, substantial for me anyway, on one particular service, to learning about the sport and becoming profitable, and therefore how I came to be speaking to you right now. For me, horse racing is the most complex and exciting sport in the world. It's a puzzle that captures our imagination and challenges us in ways we would not expect. It brings joy to our lives and memories to cherish. I bet you can picture your biggest win, a horse that has a special place in your heart or your favourite trainer from years gone by. My most vivid memory, my most recent vivid memory, I should say, was the Grand National when Sunny Hill Boy lost to Neptune Colonge by nose in 2012. Now I had £20 on Sunny Hill Boy at 25s. A good friend stood next to me had backed Neptune Colonge. I had a feeling I'd lost as he passed the post, but that was an exciting way for the result of the photo. Over more than four miles to only be separated by a nostril was just superb drama. Now, I had used trends and stats and form and a bit of instinct. My mate had heard a good old stable whisper from his girlfriend, who knew someone who knew someone who worked in the Nichols yard. They fancied him to run well, and they were right. It was a fantastic moment, a fantastic race, and it highlighted everything that is great about this sport of ours. Yes, I was disappointed I didn't win, but to be there for such a close finish, to hear the roar of the crowd was just superb. I mean, if you need to have backed the winner of the Grand National to enjoy that particular race, then you are following the wrong sport. Anyway, I digress. By now, as I've said, you will have downloaded the free system I gave away, which looks at Emma Lavelle and her great record this, at this time of year. Hopefully it's clear by now that I love looking at trainer angles. Very soon I will discuss how learning about trainers and their habits change my betting fortunes, but first, a bit more about me. My racing background, or lack of it. I was brought up in a small town called Mildenhall, which is about 10 minutes from Newmarket. You would assume this meant I may have been brought up with racing in my blood, but I was not. I had a slight interest in racing when I was younger, but only to the extent of flicking on Channel 4 and watching Big Mac flap his arms about. Of course, when you drove through Newmarket early in the morning, you could see the strings of horses going to train, that was superb to see, but I wasn't brought up in the industry and I'm not privy to inside information. I don't have a relative who is a trainer, nor have I ever been have I ever ridden a horse properly, although I do remember trotting on a donkey at Great Yarmouth when I was younger. It's safe to say that I didn't have the technique of A. P. McCoy. I went to university in Liverpool. That is where the racing bug really took hold of me but not before I'd lost a chunk of money on a tipping service that promised to make me thousands. Like most outsiders starting out in the world of horse racing and betting, I didn't really know where to begin. I wanted a quick fix. My love for the thoroughbred and for the sport would soon develop, but first and foremost I saw it as an easy opportunity to supplement my student income. It quickly became apparent via Google that there were products out there that would do just yet just that. There were many that promised to make me twenty five to fifty thousand pounds a year betting small stakes. Looking back now, I can't believe my stupidity. To cut a long story short, I lost quite a bit of money. 
I found a product online that promised me great riches and soon registered for information to be sent to my university accommodation. I can still picture that moment, the excitement as I opened this brochure, read through it page by page and got sucked in by the bold text that promised me a cool £25,000 a year if I followed three simple steps. There were pages of historical results which I thought must be legitimate. I was already dreaming of what I would spend this money on. I was sucked in by this text tipping service and soon signed up. Given its disastrous run of form, I can't think that the five years worth of results I poured over were entirely accurate. This experience cost me about £2,650. Now that's about 2000 more than I told people at the time that I'd lost. So, if they're listening now, well, yes, it was a bit more than 650 <laughs> The service itself cost 600 for a year's subscription, and I lost the rest betting. It soon blew the 100-point bank that was advised, and I stopped before all of my borrowed money ran out. I was betting 20 quid a point, which at that stage was stupid. Of course I hadn't put aside 2000 to bet with, as I thought I would never need it. Surveying the wreckage of my bank account and my overdraft wasn't pleasant. It was a horrible experience, but it was a sharp learning curve. It was quite obvious that I had to change. I would need to work harder to find a profitable approach. Certainly backing loser after loser and paying for the privilege wasn't much fun. Importantly, I still believe that I could make money from horse racing. So I committed myself to learning about the intricacies of the sport. I was fortunate to find the right blogs and sign up to informative mailing lists. I was pointed in the right direction by people in the racing community who wanted to help me become a more profitable punter. I will forever be grateful to them. During the rest of my time at university, I tried to learn as much as I could. I bought many racing books and immersed myself in the sport. One of my favourite books is Nick Morden's Betting for a Living. It was written years ago, but I still dip into it every now and then and had a lot of the content, and a lot of the content is still useful today. By this point, the racing bug had really taken hold of me, and I realised just how much I enjoyed watching racing and trying to solve the puzzle. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't winning any money for the first couple of years, but I felt like I was getting the hang of it. I was learning more about trends and stats, form, pace, how certain horses were suited to certain conditions, tracks, draw bias, the importance of ground, class, distance, etc. I was still struggling to make money, but as my knowledge increased I was convinced that it could be done. I knew that I would soon find an approach that would be successful. What helped turn me into a winning punter was learning about the pattern and behaviour of trainers. You see, after a couple of years of handing over my money to the bookies, something happened. I bought a betting system based on stats that targeted the behaviour and habits of certain trainers at certain tracks. It had come highly recommended from people I now trusted. The system was presented well and I believed the person who was talking to me. I didn't hesitate in signing up. I'm sure a few of you could name the system. It's still going strong today. Although I didn't know at the time, this system would fundamentally change my approach to racing and my approach to betting. Without it, I wouldn't be talking to you today. Before getting hold of this system, I would never really considered following trainers and their habits. Yes, I had read about the importance of trainers, but I had never researched these angles properly and had never used a trainer as a starting point for finding bets. This system fundamentally changed my thinking and my approach. Not only did it open my eyes to the importance of understanding trainers, but it also proved that you could make decent money from following a systematic approach. As I quickly discovered, trainers, like most human beings, tend to be creatures of habit. If they have found a winning method that has been successful over time, it's highly likely they will continue with this approach. After all, these trainers have to make a living, so why would they change a winning method? It became apparent that if I could discover some of these habits and patterns of behaviour, I would be able to find more winners and make some decent profits, and have some fun along the way. I've spent a few years researching trainers and their patterns of behaviour, and use many of these in my day-to-day -day betting. You've seen from the free system the kind of thing I enjoy looking at. I get a real buzz from finding winning methods, creating mini systems and profiting from them. Right now, I have a few micro angles I use in addition to the Emma Lavelle angle I sent you. 
For example, I have a selection of trainers who I back in National Hunt flat races when running a horse for the first time under rules. Incredibly, Willie Mullins is still profitable to back with this type of runner. There is one trainer who you can back blindly in handicaps over jumps when her horses are fit, another who is a master of the all-weather. OK, it's Dandy Nichols. Under certain conditions, he is a winning machine, especially at Wolverhampton and Southall. He has only had one qualifier in the past month, but that was a 16-1 to 1 winner. And there are many others. As a thank you for listening to me now, I will send you some of these micro-angles over the coming weeks. You see, I want to give you information that will benefit your betting, so do look out for those in your inbox in the future. Anyway, these mini angles are great. They tick along in the background and slowly make decent profits. By themselves, as standalone angles, they're decent, but you have to wait a long time for bets. In all honesty, I wanted to find an angle that was even more exciting. I wanted to discover something that would really change my betting fortunes. Something that I could use all year, that on average would produce one, two or three bets a day. An angle or pattern of behaviour across a number of trainers that I could make money from consistently. Something that would make sizeable profits. Because, as we all know, winning a betting is hard. There are many ways to try and make profit, but it is tough. I suppose that's part of the challenge. But when you are consistently losing, or not regularly winning, the sport doesn't feel much fun at all. See, I like the confidence of backing a horse knowing the trainer has sent it to, to the track to be competitive. I like using systems that have a higher than 1 in 4 strike rate so that I don't have to wait too long for the next winner. And, as well as making money, when I bet and watch racing, I want to be having fun. After months of digging tirelessly, I found what I'd been looking for. I found one particular angle across a number of different trainers that really excited me. Having spent six months, research, six months researching the trainers and building the system, I started paper trading the selections in Christmas. at Christmas. After six months of success, I knew I had to start profiting from them myself. So I've been following this elite group of trainers with my own money since the start of July. Every evening I open up my system building software, eager to find the next day's selections. I then head over to an odds comparison site, find the bookie with the best odds and place the bets. This angle, and it's quite obvious, you will wonder why you haven't thought of it before, and this elite group of trainers, have, proved my bet, have improved my betting no end. I have every faith that these trainers will ensure I am consistently profitable for years to come. So, from losing 2,650 on a crap tipping service, hey, maybe they just had a bad year, right? To creating my own profitable method. The last few years have been some journey. From being an outsider who wanted a quick fix, to learning to love this sport, the animals, the characters, the puzzle, what I consider to be the greatest entertainment on earth. I'm now a consistently profitable punter who relishes the challenge of trying to find winners every day, and this group of trainers have helped me on my way. So, that is my story. That leads me up to, to today, talking to you right now. In the next video, I'm going to show you some proof, some concrete evidence that backs up everything I've just said. After all, anyone can say these things. I know you want to see concrete proof of their success. I will show you exactly how I have profited from these trainers, and what the angle is that makes them so special. But until then, thanks for listening, and remember to keep an eye out on your inbox in the next few days. In the meantime, enjoy your weekend. Bye for now.